Okay, about Miss Portia Williams and Mr. Simon Gobadia. Yes, yes. It's over now. Uh, using me, baby. It's over now. It's our love, baby. Y'all remember Luther Van Draw's song? Saying, It's over now. Using me, babe. Over now. It's all over, baby. Yeah, honey. <laughs> it seems like Simon done caught up, honey. He don't, He's playing chess on Portia when she's still playing Uno over there or Candyland or even Monopoly and losing as we speak. Okay, she couldn't settle the score with Dennis. She had to go run amok trying to fight his mama trying to put something bad on dennis where he got stuck in mexico honey whoo child huh? her cuz was trying to hook wink bamboozle dennis but i'm glad the lord is good all the time got him out of that situation and he was free of portia clutches honey portia wants to sit down and live off somebody else's money. Because her mama taught her that. Okay. It's not always marrying rich. And still thinking you ain't going to do anything. Yep. She tried to have Simon be the stepdad to her baby girl. But look and behold. <laughs> Simon like cars a little bit more. He like cars. Expensive cars more than he like children okay as we know he only pick up the kids it seems like on and during the summertime okay other than that he can't be bothered all right he can't be bothered he may in fact pay their tuition he may in fact give them clothing and whatnot and pay most of their expenses for school but one thing he not they say he ain't a fool they say he ain't a fool out there so what other what of women so whatever the way he makes his money or how he comes about making his money, he planned on staying in king of his castle and his finances. Oh, Portia, did he, did he finally wake up and smell the coffee girl? Whether or not he's a millionaire, billionaire, or whatever, he wants to have you in a... What do you call it? Prenup situation. Now, looky, looky, looky. Who comes cookie? You went right back to the same drawing board, Portia. Then Dennis wanted you to, or Dennis and his mother wanted you to sign a prenup girl. And at least we can see what Dennis does for a living, how he gets down in the community, and how he's trying to raise, yes, I said, raise his baby girl pj he's teaching her good resourceful skills that she's gonna need when she gets to be a grown young lady yes indeed yes indeed he's teaching her the tools to stay valuable and viable out there when she becomes a grown-up woman. And the only thing you've taught her, Portia, pretty much is how to use and abuse other people's money. I say it again, other people's money. All right? Because this is what probably what your mother trained you to do. She trained you up to be cute. She trained you up to be uh, well-versed in shopping, shopping, shopping. Okay? But she didn't give you the tools to succeed in life if you had to do it on your own. Like Peter LaBelle say, I'm on my own. How did it end this way? I'm on my own. 
Yes, her and Mac, what's his name? Michael McDonald over there singing that song. I'm all alone, honey. I'm all alone by myself. Uh huh. Woo, Portia, Portia, Portia. What are you doing over there, girl? You just keep running them up. How about you try something new? New as in you make your own money. Work each and every day out there, even if you wanted to become a blogger of clothing. You know, you say you're doing so well in Go Naked Hair. And I know Drew Sador, did she start buying the hair from you? Or are you still out there providing her with it? Let us know. We know this hell over here at Deb Chanel's 40 Square House featuring the family of co-hosts. We know this hair. We want to know. We don't want to go looking for shit. No, we don't dig up in the garbage can and try to find out every illicit thing out there that you've done. No, we pretty much let other people do the research. Then we come on and try to give our critique of what we saw, what we heard, and how we viewed it. Portia, 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 Portia. Girl. You need to, I don't know what you can do because the uh, death of your career came when you tried to uh, hit on Mama Gina. And, I, and I'm saying hit on her like in the unflattering, unknown way. Girl, you trying to whoop ass on uh, Dennis Mama. And that's when I think your professional career went to Shitsville. Don't nobody want to secure you selling their goods? Not really. Uh, because you're attached to basically starting trouble with your mother-in-law. Now, are you going to do the same thing with Simon's mother or uh, his mother? Are you going to be combative? Are you going to be trying to put hands on Simon Gabali's mother? Oh, girl, oh, girl, oh, girl. I don't know, but it seems like you keep coming back to the same old drawing board. Mm-hmm. Ass out. Finance ass out when you're dependent on somebody else to support you. And not only you, your baby girl. And you don't spend all your money sitting up here running the streets or the countries of Africa trying to keep up with Simon. You remember when he called himself taking that hiatus from you? Yes, that hiatus. And somebody must have told you he was meeting his old girlfriend or he was meeting some women while he was over there. And um, Benin trying to visit his mom. Girl, you caught the first thing smoking out of Atlanta. Yes, out of Hartsfield, Atlanta Airport. You caught the next thing smoking. Trying to go find out, where's my baby? Where's my baby? Cause it's all over, baby. Yeah, y'all need to listen to Luther Brandross songs. Maybe Portia need to take a, a listen to it as well. Cause Simon ain't giving away nothing. He ain't giving up nothing. Okay? Cause he likes living a comfortable life. I ain't gonna say he no millionaire. I ain't gonna say he no millionaire. Okay, but he likes to rent things, so he has to have money to be able to rent these things, like the airplane. He goes to the airport and make like his his, but we found that out. Not true. And then we had to go where he was renting houses out in Cabo. Was it was it Cabo? No, it wasn't Cabo. It was Turks and Caicos. Got a little house out there, a little villa or whatever. He's renting that as well. But at least we can see that he goes there. And it seems like he goes to the same little get up or house or apartment. I don't know what the hell it is over there. But it seems like it's the same one he gets to go to all the time. Because Simon is very fond of the automobiles. And we've seen what type of automobiles he likes. Because uh, he even got a replica where it's like embossed or in claved in a um, plastic some type of see-through thing model but he's it, he just it sits on his table and he just admire it okay and all these cars he said he gave Porsche he went from a what was it, was it a, um what do you call it a Rolls Royce to a Mercedes uh this year and <laughs> I guess he was just pacifying her because none of them were brand new. But then again, when you looking at it from a business standpoint, there's no need. There is no need to get something brand new and then it depreciates once it rolls off the lot. So, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. 
that we just can't seem to get rid of. Yes, but Simon, <laughs> you don't got some you can't get away from. Or at least you say you have a moving van on standby just in case it all goes south. So, Portia, he said that, and you should have listened to him when he said that to your ex boyfriend ex fiance ex lover however you want to see dennis at this time girl but i just had to drop by i had to swoop in because uh people are talking about you uh portia they're talking about you and it's not in a flattering way again yes you had stayed out social media a little bit just a little bit and um i don't know did you promise simon that he was going to get a part or be a part of the community where he gets uh verified because it still hasn't happened yet ma'am that still hasn't happened yet not saying that it won't happen one day but it just seems like ever since you've been with him and him taking pictures of you you taking pictures of him and posting them on social media oh girl and then you have to change up got to do a little face tuning on him majority of the time and you do it here and there on um yourself but girl, 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 it's better off. It'll be all, it'll be better off if you get your own money. Start listening to your mama and your grandmama of how to secure the bag with a million or billion air. It didn't work for you with uh what's his name? Who did you have before? Let's go all the way back. It didn't work with Cordell. It did not work with Dennis. So why in the hell did you think it would work with Simon Gabadio, who cannot even get verified on Instagram? Okay? He's running circles all around you, Portia. All around you. I mean, he got money. He got, uh, I ain't saying he's a millionaire or billionaire, but he got some money out there, girl. And then you out here trying to be letting this lie continue to live out. You know, I'm like, damn, you ain't got no jobs right now. I don't know if you're really coming back on Real Housewives of Atlanta, but if you do secure the bag, coming back as a peach holder or a friend of the show, girl, 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 Kenya and Candy and Marlo are going to wear your ass out. I'm just giving you forewarning. You're going to be their storyline. Uh, for the season, if you choose to come back on 15, season 15, girl, they're going to be up your ass, on your ass, and won't get off of your neck, okay? This is how it's going to be. And if you can't handle the pressure, don't come back, girl, don't come back. Because we don't want to see your hands on somebody's face or back or shoulder or, or, or with a stomach, okay? We, we don't want to see that. We like the drama, we like the mess, but we want to keep it verbally, okay? We don't want you to reach out and touch someone. Oh, like I think it was Southern Bell or Bell South back in the day. Reach out and touch someone. No, unless you're giving them a high five or a hug. We don't want to see anything else because we sent you to anger management. We know you failed miserably, but it made it do what it did, okay? It make it do what it do and make it did what it did, okay? All past tense, okay? So we're not sure. We're not sure, girl, if you need to come back, if you're ass back. Because I heard or I read somewhere, you know, my mind come and go these days, that um, you weren't the first, second, third, fourth, fifth choice to be on the thailand trip you know the ultimate girls trip you weren't like the first second third fourth fifth sixth pick girl oh they were one or two other people but they couldn't get them they knew you were there on your own with nothing to do <laughs> so they thought they would call you and you picked up them bags and you flew to thailand girl mm -hmm. that's what you can do when you ain't got no check you gotta get it while it gets it's good and sure enough, you did it. I don't know if you did it well. I don't even know where it's being shown. Was it Peacock? Y'all, tell us, sister, because I don't really know. I really don't know. But, girl, Portia, 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 you done made a boo-boo once again, okay? Because the man ain't coming off no type of marriage ceremony with you until you sign on the dotted line, girl. Because he likes his cigars and he likes his brown liquor. And he loves to go to Turks and Caicos. I don't know if he's growing agriculture out there or down there. Or slinging, you know, the stuff in the streets. I don't know what he's doing, girl. 
I don't know what he's doing. Because, you know, it seems like he needs to retire his ass somewhere and stay off social media. Because it's not doing him any good. But you, I'm like, that last picture where you walking with that Dolce and Gabbana cat suit or something like that, Portia. Why was Simon taking pictures of you or filming you as you're coming off the elevator? Y'all ain't got nothing better else to do. Girl, have y'all ran. I'm going to say it again. Did y'all run out of people to uh, professionally take pictures of y'all as y'all walk around on this earth going various places? Girl, was your assistant, Portia Lauren, have you been paying her lately? Is that why she's not taking pictures of you all? My whole thing, sit your both asses, sit down, okay? Sit both of y'all asses down, all right? Don't get up, just sit down. Live your life, stop putting it on social media, and maybe somebody will find y'all interesting, okay? Maybe someone will find y'all interesting, because right now ain't nobody checking. Mm-mm. Not even the bloggers, they ain't really checking. If anything they throwing out there is alleged stuff. Alleged this, alleged that. You had two weddings, two African weddings you're supposed to have had. Remember you went down there when you first exposed us to Simon Gabardia? Saying you're going to have a, 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 two weddings, one in here and about two, three or four in Africa, girl. girl Been in that bed. Girl, I heard that they, you know, it's my, just allegedly that nobody wanted to patron you with no free business honey they said uh-uh you can't pay we can't do nothing today <laughs> if you cannot pay we can do nothing for you today that's what the people say girl that's what the streets are hollering they telling me that you can't get nobody in africa to foot the bill and give you free publicity by doing so and they ain't friendly to you up here in atlanta in the states either girl they don't want to hear it. They, 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 if you gave yourself a wedding, you paid for it. We really want checking for it. And we would be doing commentary on it. That would be the only reason why we would be checking for it. But as uh, as quiet as it being told, and I'm going to yell it out to you, Portia, don't nobody like you. <laughs> well, I take that back. They don't like you with Simon, I should say. Mm-hmm. And they definitely don't like Simon. You know, he has his foes, and you have your foes, and then I guess y'all have y'all commonalities of people liking y'all. You know what I'm saying? But see, Portia, ah, you have uh, stood out like a sore thumb, baby. And the only thing, I say it again, the only thing that we know that you like is running around in them streets, driving, wearing, seeking, extra notary fame okay you want the notoriety of being famous seen with famous people doing famous things and whatever happened to that acting career you suppose that it got off the ground you remember you took photos with uh was it john legend shit i can't remember i think it was john legend and somebody you supposed to have been coming up in some uh sitcom are you supposed to be coming up in a tv special or something to that degree i'm like girl are you being like nene girl did they blackball you and we don't know about it but they should have blackballed you in a sense portia to a certain degree because you you did make a mess out of yourself when you had that portia family matters uh sitcom show or uh, special they gave you at bravo girl when nobody feeling you, and damn sure one feeling Simon, okay? Because Simon should have been a big boy, a big man. He should have been in control and said, we ain't doing all this, girl. Sit your ass down. We're not doing it, okay? We're not fighting. We're not arguing. We ain't yelling on TV like we ain't got no sense. That's what he should have told you. But I guess, you know, he didn't show himself like that. But he showed them that you act a fool out there in them streets. And on um, the show taping, yes, he did. Yeah, yes, he did, girl. Ooh, child. Hot mess. But that's all I got, Portia. I ain't got no more for you, baby. I ain't got no I mean, I'm, I just like, go go on into the sunset, baby. Go on into the sunset and make your own money. Show and prove what you can do. Because you did it before, honey. You were a boss out there. You worked for Dish Nations and the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And you were getting that check. Yes, you were. But somehow you thought you found you a knight in Shauna armor. And he was a dude, honey. He was a dude. He was a fraud that did not turn into the prince. He was a fraud that didn't turn into the prince, girl. Cause he ain't giving up no money. No, he ain't. He ain't giving up no money. He ain't giving up no money. He ain't giving up no money. And he done been how many times married? 
three over and you have been five, wife number four. Girl. And you see how he treated the other three wives? Mm-hmm. He ain't get them too much of nothing to bite on. And he don't want to take care of his children. He don't want to take care of them. No, he don't. Mm-mm, no, he don't. Because if he did, if he did, he wouldn't be doing all these photo ops with them here and there. You know what I'm saying? We should have a plethora of family gatherings, you know, uh, sh- you know, showing him to be an astute father out there. You know, I know they homeschool, but, you know, they have to go to school and take uh, – tests you know what i'm saying they can't get around now you got to take the atlanta uh we call it i don't know if they were well, in San Francisco. So i guess the atlanta school board you got to go in and take tests when it's time for them to be promoted to the next grade to make sure everything was done uh culturally done that they learned what they needed to learn to pass all these standardized tests see and it seems like they did so his children oh uh, well versed they're kind of intelligent okay they're intelligent young men and women but girl if he don't get them that much okay what do you think he's gonna do for you and them cars you got they ain't brand new but he's smart in that area. You don't need no brand new car. Because like I said, it appreciates once you ride off that lot. Mm-hmm. But child, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, Porsche. <coughs> but you probably need to secure the bag on your own. Your own merits, your own talents, and your own achievements. That'll be better, girl. Because you can, you can own your own. Or do like him. Rent a jet to fly you anywhere. Rent a plane, honey. Shit, Oprah Winfrey did it all day, every day, and she still ain't married. So, like, still got all her wealth attached to herself, either. She ain't depend on statement. She depend on herself, girl. So, you need to get up there and be an entrepreneur again or do something with yourself. Hey, I'll try to get on Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I'm telling you, girl, they're going to wear out your behind to where it's going to be too sore to sit down and they are definitely going to come full force fledge for you being that storyline. Yes, Lord, they're going to they gonna wear you out, Portia. Though it'll make good television. It will make good drama on television. But I don't know if you could take it because, you know, you couldn't take Dennis' mama, you know, saying whatever about you. You, you couldn't take uh, uh, your assistant. You had to go fight Jamie in the alley and shit. I don't, I don't know where that came from. And then you can't take Kenya. You know, Kenya got some slick ass mouth. And and she she be you know, they don't they don't named her the uh slay assassin. So, you know, when you can't get well versed with getting back with her verbally, you try to put hands on folk. And that's not good. That's not good. Cause Kenya let you knock her down. She'll let you slap her and everything. But honey, you sealed your fate when you do that kind of stuff. Cause she gonna go for the money. She gonna like, honey, you can abuse me all you want to. And when I get up, when I do get up, I'm going straight to my lawyer, and we're going to handle that. You're going to pretty much be dead on arrival, baby, with the finances. You're going to be dead on arrival. Because mm-hmm. she's going to take it from you. She's going to take all she can and then some. But, uh, yeah, girl. Mm-hmm. And Fallon Book, I think it's supposed to come out in August, which I thought it was supposed to come out in June. But it is what it is, girl. It is what it is, honey. It is what it is. But you, you had a little bit more business about yourself when you were making your own money, spending your own money and doing you, you know. Of course, you had to take care of your uh, family members. But that's okay. Most people that do have to take care of their family members, they they keep it in stride. Because mm-hmm. those who have much should definitely uh, be somebody's brother or be somebody's uh, sister keeper. You know what I'm saying? Am I my sister's keeper yes i am so that means those who do make a lot in their family need to take care of their family and this is it pretty much that is just it i can't say no more about it because there ain't really nothing else to say about it really okay but portia you take care of yourself girl but it seems like you're going to come up with that same prenup mess that you wouldn't do for dennis but you're going to do for simon (laughs) and again like i said we could see, and he could show and prove what he do. But Simon, we can't see nothing. We can't see nothing. He won't let us see nothing. Mm-mm. He said, no. You want to see what? No, ma'am. <laughs> and he been doing that almost a year to our behinds. Okay, he said, no. I'm sorry. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Can't do it. Can't do it. Won't, won't do it. We won't do it. 
And we saw him. We he ain't, he ain't showed us nothing. I mean, he ain't showed us anything. Okay, but what he wanted us to see, and it wasn't that much. So he might be living one of them. What do you call it? Um, I can't remember what to call it. Uh, conspicuous or uh, undercover type living where if he's exposed, then it's, he's gonna go to jail or something like that, girl. Mm -hmm. So he's not gonna let that happen. He's going around there like uh, Mission Impossible. Uh, what's man that James Bond? <laughs> Besides the going and getting people together and you know, uh, what do you call it? Being the hero of the day or whatnot. No, he ain't doing none of that. But he ain't letting you know nothing. He, I don't, I don't bet you know anything about him, Portia. Do you know anything about that man you've been trying to secure that he don't put his name on his back or shoulder? Trying to show his, um, what do you call it, his commitment to you, I guess it would be. Child, you better get back out there in them streets and get a job. Get you some jobs, Portia. And get back where you once were, where you were securing the bag by yourself, okay? Through God's graces. Mm-hmm. That's what you need to do, girl. That's what you need to do. Well, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.